Hello, so you want to make a friend with a black person? Well, we have an interesting article about how to do it. Um, now, I, wouldn't you just walk up and say, hey, how you doing? Or yeah. just start talking? <laughs> Isn't it the same with your black, white, purple, pink, or... Yeah, right. and, and and actually that that's the, the first thing. I'm, I'm assuming that this article is satire. Has to be. I, I read it, and this is like, if this is honestly, you know, the way she thinks is of, real? Uh, of white people, then she has a problem. Not giving us much credit, apparently. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And it's just like... And the satire thing, I understand. Like, you know, um, people don't understand that, you know, it's, how, oh, you got to treat black people different. No. Did, did you, kinda, where'd you find this article? Uh, in the free paper that we have in here. The, it's the actually Metro? Across, Was it the Metro? Metro? Okay. Do you remember the person's name who, uh, uh, let's give this person full is, credit. Where is it doing that now? Uh, Vicky. Mochami's Guide to Interracial Networking <laughs> Events. There you go, Vicky. Um, but yeah, it, it's it's like um, so. I guess in Georgia, th they got together a bunch of uh, professional black people, and they're bringing in a whole bunch of white people to kind of network, right? And it's you know, it, it's a good thing. It's a way for people to meet other people, to get to know other people, and yeah. it's fine, whatever. And uh, the person who wrote this article was you know. Um, uh, it, it, you know, is responding is like, well, because it would be a good idea to have here in Canada, but we don't, it's not going on, so here's a handy guy to go and meet people. And yeah. it's like, okay, fine, whatever. Uh, and right there, you know, walk up to them and treat Hi. them. Yeah, <laughs> like you would. And, and right off the bat, it's like, speak to them like you would any other human being, right? Uh, and it's like, uh, and it's like, there ha that has to be like no no right no. like, again I'm really? pretty sure it's, it's satire and it's like if you want to meet somebody you walk up to them and introduce yourself yeah that's uh, insane we we could make it really easy as adults and go treat it the way you would as kids in the, the playground you walk up to somebody it's like do you want to be friends and if they go yes you go okay you, you know that's the one thing I noticed being an adult you know I'm 36 years old and it's really hard to make friends as an adult because when you're an adult you have your ways you're set kind of in how you do things and so when you meet somebody it's very difficult to you know you, to find a lot of things you can maybe have one or two things in common with somebody but yeah. beyond that it's like then that's where it kind of the, the, you know, uh, unfortunately as you grow older there's more nuance to the world whereas a kid Everything, everything's like new. You're just like whatever. Everything cool. is, pardon the pun, black and white. Yeah. And as you're uh, older, you understand that there's way more gray than there ever needs to be. Yeah. So it kind of sucks. So we so make that, it harder. Yeah, we do as adults. As we get older, everything becomes more and more. I said that. Difficult. I, I, when I look at when I look at like even my seven year old, you can see him starting to change a little bit, but you can see that you know. That they just look at the world and they just they're they're able to use their imagination and it's like they don't oh look at this cardboard box I'm gonna turn it into a house and I'm turning this little toy car into my car I'm gonna and go to the shop and here we like, are as adults we're turning it into recycle yeah we're like <laughs> we're like what are we doing you know as an adult we look at them and go what are you doing kid and we're going it, it, when we should be going man that those we should be doing more of that yeah. using our imaginations and oh no and I, I get it like uh, I, I miss my imagination as I get older my imagination I miss my imaginary as... friend <laughs> no no I, I don't think I ever had an imaginary yeah I don't think friend. I ever did either yeah. uh, so it, it's again back to the article um, she makes a couple of valid points one, uh, she says, oh, if you're talking to a, a black lady, you know, don't touch their hair. And immediately I was thinking to myself, is like, why would you want why to, would touch you touch anybody's hair? Somebody's hair, let alone a black person's hair. Because I, I guess there's something to black people's hair. Well, I think they, they wear wigs or something. A lot of them wear, like, wigs. Uh, weaves or something. They're called weaves. Okay. I'm not 100% sure. I'm sure yeah. they, like, because like, their hair is very, like, um, just naturally, it's very, like, thick. Yeah, matted, but well, I, that's why the black people can okay. have an afro. I just want to ask again, to back to the point, why would you touch anybody's hair? Yeah, if, if I'm uh, just meeting you, I'm not gonna be like, hey, nice hair, and stroke your hair, it, or like, yeah, uh, hey, can I touch uh, you? Like, that's just weird. It, it's the, the the hair touching thing is a, a to me is a, has a sense of intimacy, and you just yeah. don't touch other when you, people's hair. I think when you first meet somebody, you should 
you should, it's it's like when you're at family dinner. You don't talk about religion, sex, or politics. Those, yeah. are, those three things are, for some reason, they're off. It's because it's the most emotion-based topics. I, that's what I think. It's, it's uh, sexual, Yeah, no, no, no. And, and, then, and, and that's why... Because, one, if you don't have the same religion, you kind of head but yeah. If you don't have the same uh, sexual kind of identities, again, tied into religion, yeah. too, you head but And politics... Oh, my God. Oh, yeah, politics. Yeah, just, yeah. You know, As you hear from us yeah. talking about politics all the time, you know, it, you never, very seldom see eye to eye. And so it was like, okay, I, I get it. But again, the first thinking in my mind is, why would you? And that's the immediate thought was, why would you want to touch somebody else's hair? Yeah. So it's kind of like, okay. For somebody to think, um, like, like, if this isn't satire, if this article is not satire, then wow. Yeah, if for somebody to, to who you would think writers are intelligent, but I guess nowadays because there's blogs everywhere and the way the world works so easy. Yeah, look at us. <laughs> We're a couple of idiots <laughs> who just blab in on television, you know. And it's like to think that you have to write something and, and put out some sort of guide to friends with black people. Well, I, I, again, a, a satire. I'm, I'm giving her the benefit yes. of the doubt that yes. it is satire. And if you read it as satire, it's Amusing. It's, it's amusing. Yeah, it has right. Been, yeah. I don't know if it's funny per se, but it's amusing. It's amusing. Yeah. And then you know, um, which she says, uh, you know, one of the things you don't talk about a black person when you first meet them is race or slavery, and it's just like, <laughs> come on. <laughs> I, I d yeah. Um, <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. Now. Now. Okay. The re what, part of the reason why I wanted to talk wow. about was is, is I ha I work with a black fellow in Jamaican, and it's interesting. We do talk about race and slavery. Really? Yes. Hmm. But this is not how we started off yeah, our conversation. Hey, so how do you feel about the slaves? How are you? <laughs> <laughs> and and the thing is, he brought up slavery first. See, I think like, right. in that case, that's and okay. So, then. He brought it up. Yeah, and he, he actually wanted to know a white person's perspective, right? Because... On slavery? On slavery. So okay. we, we actually have uh, rather interesting debates about slavery coming from a black person's per perspective and a white person's perspective. So it's like, uh, I, I get it, and, you know, we have these conversations every now and then, and... Okay, um, and I, I it, that's one of those things is like when you meet a person that isn't of your own race, you don't bring up race because that can be kind of annoying. Yeah, not, but a, it's not at a, first. Um, no, 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 it, you're, you're right, not at first, but the stereotypes also come into play, and I, I don't know. Like, what do you mean? They come into play like you want to know about them? Well, yeah. Cause that, that's me, too. Like, what yeah. If, if I'm talking to a, like a black person or somebody, or you know, I could, do you guys really eat a lot of chicken and waffles? Like, that's, you know? It's just kind of because you hear about it and you're yeah. curious. It's more of a curiosity. I'm not going to be like, that's not the first thing I'm going to fucking talk no, about. No, no, no. I'm going to talk about the weather or I'm going to talk about sports. That For me, I'm going to talk about sports because I'm a big sports fan. Yeah. Yeah. Those are like... To me, sports is the topic that I can talk to almost anybody about because it's it's easy. Obviously, you have your rivalries, you know, Edmonton, Calgary, and blah, mm -hmm. blah, blah, and you have your differing opinions, you know, but usually it's just good ribbon unless you're talking to then an asshole and then, you know, needs to live on their throne. And be yeah, right and, um, and that's the thing. is like, you know, actually talking to another black person as a... Uh, it, it's interesting to, to see his perspective, you know, because he, he, he does play uh, the race card, I think, in my I opinion, a little bit too much. Um, however, he, he does ask questions. He doesn't automatically just assume, but he does, you know, he makes, he makes generalizations just like everybody. And when you see him make certain generalizations, you start to realize that, uh, that About I make people... He makes generalizations about white people. Yeah. Or okay. Yeah. And, and then it's you start to realize just wait. I make very similar well, generalizations do, yeah. too, and it's just but like, it's not it just opens about, your eyes yeah. to have. But a I think that's of, good for anybody. I think that's good for like not just color, race. I think it's just people with different like you and I. We have different opinions about things. We view the world differently. So we, and we, when we have a conversation, you go okay. 
well, in my mind, I, I open my, it opens my mind to other people's perspective of the world because, um, but the world is becoming very um, blindery. Yes, yes, yes I agree. Uh, Especially if, if, if this is a real article, <laughs> this just goes to prove the point of the blinders that everybody wears. No, and, and okay, uh, again, after reading the article, I think it is satire, and the point is, is like, you know, don't seek out uh, talking to a black person just because they're black. Seek out people to talk to because you want to understand yeah. things. And, you know, uh, talking to a black person about slavery is rather interesting because uh, when we started talking about slavery, I actually started researching some of the things about slavery. And then you start to realize that he, um, he doesn't understand as much as he thinks he does. Yeah. Right now, mind you, I'm just going off of what's in the. I, th I think we all don't like understand that. as much as we think we. <laughs> yeah, no, 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 and, and it, it's funny because it's like, oh, white people, and it's just like, when you read about it, it's like, oh, black people helped from slavery, uh, the Spanish, uh, because it it was uh, Spain and Portugal that were actually some of the ones that first started it, and Spanish people are not considered white, and they're Latino, yeah. So it's it's one of those things of. It wasn't just white people that were doing these things. So, yeah, yeah. So it, we went down a very strange rabbit hole, and after reading hers, it's... Uh, well, that's what stuff like this will do. It'll make you go down the rabbit hole. Because yeah. that's exactly... Who knows what it was meant for? Who knows if it was... No, I, I, again, um, here in Calgary, we're, we're pretty white bread. Like, uh, I think, honestly, that uh, you have one black person for every 100 people. You have more brown people. See, I think, like me, I don't know. Like, I notice where I live. I live in, like, a little India because a lot of, like, yeah. they, they yeah. a lot of, in, like, a lot of Indians live out there. Yeah. Um, and it's like, okay, whatever. But I don't, like, I don't, me personally, I don't care what your skin color. If you're interesting, I'll talk to you. If you want to talk about sports, I'll talk about sports. That's oh yeah, yeah, <laughs> that's yeah, my yeah. thing. And that's what it comes down to. Again, as a child, it was really easy to do stuff. But as an adult, I find that if you don't like something, I like. Hello, hello. We're yeah. we're here. We're here. Okay. We're here. Okay. Well, screw you. <laughs> um. Uh, I under as an adult, I understand that uh, I don't have the time to um, skirt around things. I don't really like talking about the weather because it's that's nah, the small talk. Yeah, yeah. I don't. And it, and it makes I don't you come across as an asshole. That's yeah, what I find. I, and, People and, think you're an asshole. I'm like, why? Because I don't want to talk about the weather. I don't. Yeah. I know it's snowing outside. I don't need you to tell me. Yeah, exactly. Like, and and I I get that. It's like I come across as. Uh, um, like there, there's a couple of bus drivers that I, I, you know, we say hi, we talk, we do talk about the weather, but we actually do talk about other things. And some days it's just, we talk about the weather and it's like, okay, goodbye. See you tomorrow. Yeah. Right. And, um, I don't mind that because we do actually talk about other things, but it's the, if you want to talk, let's talk about something interesting. Cause other than that, you're just wasting my time. Yeah. And, and, and I'm not trying to be offensive. Uh, uh, I just I, don't... I think that's the big difference I, I, between, yeah. My brain doesn't work with small talk. I don't have mm. those social cues yeah. and social interactions to be able to give that sense of, oh, yeah. It's very I, awkward. I find that the small it, talk it is, is very so awkward for me. Draining. It's very Yeah, it's awkward to talk about the, the little things, and, and, and it's like, uh, okay, yeah, weather, yeah, uh, traffic, uh, okay, yeah, uh, and it's like, oh. Uh, yeah. I don't, I don't yeah. want to... I don't want to talk about like, I don't want to get into deep conversations with with people about politics and religion all the time. No. Uh, but I want to talk about you know for like again. Then that's why I talk about movies and TV. Yeah, I want to talk about this this the, you know sports. That's my big thing. Yeah. I love talking about sports. I yeah. love I love I love just breaking down stuff. That's my thing. Like so, uh, again, it's. Uh, um, I, I did mention her name at, at the beginning, so you know, I go to the Metro website and read the article. Yeah, and read it for yourself. And yeah, as I said, if it's satire, it is amusing. And if it's not, well, wow, and, and she sad and of yeah, we are. And her, I, I'm hoping her point is, if you want to talk to somebody, talk to them like you want to be talked to. 
they'll treat them different because that yeah you know uh, you know I, I heard this one time I think I've, I think I've mentioned it on the channel before but I'll mention it again um, um, from Jamie Staples a, a, a twitch streamer that I watch he streams poker and um, he was told by somebody else um, talk as if you want to be understood yeah, and that makes so much sense to me. And I'm like, because I've talked to people, and they try to use huge words. It's like they've read a thesaurus, and they're using. And I'm like, huh? Because I'm I'm not the most, like my my vocabulary is very limited. I use very simple vocabulary. Um, and sometimes when I t talk to other people, I they use words, and I'm kind of going. I, I think I have a vague idea what that word means, but I'm like, it's, it's eh. like I don't know what that word means, so this entire conversation doesn't mean yeah. anything until I figure out what that word and, means. And I just kind of go, you know, yeah, just just talk to talk so you, people can under, like everybody, you know what I mean? Just talk so everybody can understand you. That's yeah, and like you said, talk to somebody how you want to be talked to. Probably get you pretty far in school. Hopefully. All right, guys. Thanks for joining us in this rabbit hole of life. Yeah. Have a wonderful, wonderful... Oh, and don't forget to hit the subscribe, subscribe button because, you know, we get a sellout here. <laughs> That's what we got to do. That's what we're doing. We're, we're trying to do it. We're trying, anyways. Yeah. All right. So there you go. See ya. Later.